Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from Guiding Force Consulting. I help nonprofits with Salesforce implementation and special projects, as well as their fundraising event planning. Today, I want to take a couple minutes because quarter four is coming up, and I want to talk about how do you stand out from the crowd and prepare for the giving season that's ahead. Quarter four is going to be filled with Giving Tuesday messages and urine appeals, a fundraising event season in the fall, which is kind of part of quarter four. And uh, nonprofits can get lost in the shuffle and all the noise that you see online and social media and in emails. So how do you make yourself stand out from the crowd? Well, I want to talk about a couple things. First is having a comprehensive fundraising plan for the entire quarter. Um, instead of piecemealing things as they come up and throwing out some Giving Tuesday posts, maybe sending an email blast, um, coming up with your year end appeal story, you know, all of those things going out and hitting your supporters at different times with different messages can oftentimes be confusing and get, get lost. Um, so when you have a full comprehensive campaign where they're the same images, the same messaging, the same ask, that repeat imaging and um, information your donors are going to see and notice. And it's gonna feel like a comprehensive fundraising campaign that's gonna actually help you stand out from the crowd. The second thing that I would recommend is um, customizing your messages to your donors. This is where your donor database and having accurate information is really important. Reach out to your donors on a personal level. You wanna stand out, call them out by name, talk to them, send a quick five, you know, 10 second video saying, hey, Bob, we really appreciate all the support that you've given us over the past year. These are the things that we've done with the funding. And this is what we have planned ahead. Would you be willing to support us once again at the end of the year? You know, random example, but um, finding different ways to customize your messaging or your information to your donors is going to make you be a complete Please stand out from the crowd. Um, also, the third thing that I want to mention is having a really compelling reason to give and a great story to go with it. You don't have to send out a fundraising ask just because everyone else is doing it. And you certainly don't have to participate in Giving Tuesday when there are a million other nonprofits doing it. Make sure you have a really good ask and a reason for people to give before you even pursue these opportunities. Perhaps your program is going to be more focused on a really robust giving opportunity in the spring. Make the spring your quarter for fundraising frenzy, if you will. Um, figure out what works best for your organization, but just know that you do in fact need a really compelling reason. Um, don't do it just for the sake of doing it. And the very last tip that I'm going to suggest is being consistent. Um, I know that it's really hard with nonprofits because you're wearing 10 different hats, time flies up on you, and next thing you know, it's time to get everything out, and so you do it in a hurry. Um, if you don't have that plan laid out in advance and you're rushing to get something done, typically you can see that and kind of tell um, when you're looking at other social media posts and other emails that are coming through. So don't forget that you are unfortunately being compared to the 20 other messages that somebody is sending out from different organizations. Um, so make sure you're consistent with the look, the feel, your branding, um, the things you want to say and the image you want to project to your donors. Um, so that way you're putting your best foot forward when you're being compared with all of the other solicitations going out. Um, I know it can be tough and difficult, but you know, laying the groundwork in advance, setting all of your donor um, activities and information up in a good system is really going to help you prepare for quarter four. Um, if you need some help talking about the process or how to get prepared, how to pull the right information, how to organize that information, um, let's talk.